Hey, what's up guys? In this video, we're going to take a look at today's solar eclipse visible from primarily the Eastern Hemisphere. Speaking of the Eastern Hemisphere, we've got two typhoons, one below the equator, one just above the equator that's slightly out of bounds, actually out of season. You can tell by looking at these that this one is indeed above the equator as it's rotating counterclockwise. Just went through the Philippines causing a ton of damage through the area you've got one below the equator much larger kind of heading south not exactly sure where this is going to go it's not very organized it's large but not super organized yet but that is rotating clockwise two typhoons here at the Himwari, one above and one below the equator. one of those typhoons made its way through the philippines on christmas had wind speeds of up to nearly 120 miles per hour creating a lot of destruction thousands without electricity somewhere in the neighborhood of 60,000 people displaced from this storm and it's moving towards the china mainland right now i don't think it's going to do much because it's so cool the waters are very cool this time of year in fact that's a rare but not unheard of typhoon for this time of the year typhoon season is starting now in the southern hemisphere if you were in the eastern hemisphere today you had a good view if it wasn't cloudy of the total eclipse you can see it here on the go 17 i'm going to give you a real close look at that here in just a second in fact we're going to start right now We've also got some amazing lightning that was sent in by rt from Israel we're going to take a look at also solar eclipse December 26th of 2019 sent in by Ahmed and all I know is Ahmed was somewhere in the eastern hemisphere I'm still waiting to hear back from Ahmed yet I think he was right in this area here he had a really good seat for the total eclipse absolutely beautiful if you were in the right location. Let me pause it here real quick. You can see the shadow being cast on the Earth here on this satellite, the GOES-17. You're looking at the moon and the sun here. So in this little segment, you've got the moon, the sun, and the Earth all in this video clip at the same time. So here's the shadow coming across right there. See it? And that created the eclipse you saw right there. That photo was sent in by Ahmed from somewhere over there in the Eastern Hemisphere with a perfect view of the eclipse. Look at that. Absolutely beautiful. That was when it was almost at totality. Here it was leaving totality. And here's another look at totality right there. The ring of fire viewable from the Pacific. Beautiful photographs. Here's a long distance view of the eclipse out over the ocean. Once again, photos sent in by Ahmed. Great photographs looking out across the city as the eclipse was departing, totality. Now we're back to about 50% coverage. Another view from out over the water. Absolutely spectacular. Totality. The Ring of Fire. That's where it gets its name, Ring of Fire. That's what it looks like in the sky. Here it is inverted. Dark is light and light is dark. And you can clearly see the ring in a dark format. Look at that. Another photograph here. It looks like a crescent moon. But that is our sun being eclipsed by the moon. Won't happen again for, I don't think, another 10 years. We won't see another total eclipse. But thank you, Ahmed, for the photographs. I'm still waiting to hear back from Ahmed to find out his exact location. In the meantime, I just left it pretty vague. He was somewhere over here in the Eastern Hemisphere. Epic Lightning was on display over in Israel. Video here sent in by RT. I slowed this video down that RT sent me just a little bit to get a better look at this lightning. It's not lightning bolts. It's just like big sheets of lightning. The sky just lit up. And like I said, all I did was slow it down just a little bit for viewing purposes. And look at that. You can see these bright blue bursts of light. Light purple and blue. Very spectacular lightning show over in Israel. 
Thank you, RT. Always appreciate Sky Phenomena. If you guys have any photos you'd like to share, you can send those to reports at MrMBB333.com. All of the photos end up here at the Sky Phenomena Photo Gallery at the website. Sometimes I use the pictures in a video slideshow, and I'll have a really good one tomorrow as we're working on a pretty big video that I think you guys are really going to enjoy. Thanks for watching. Have a super day and be safe out there.